Welcome back to Site Tech Inner Mountain Site Vision Training Videos. In this video, I wanted to show you the 3D pipe module option that comes out of Business Center. Um, if you're using Business Center or if anybody's given you that type of file, how you can come out here and visualize not just a line in the ground, but an actual 3D div uh, dimension of a pipe, a box, whatever it is that's built. What I do is I go to my menu and I go to load model and I'm going to go back to Trimble Connect and start back at the beginning of projects and I'll go to my SiteTech Wheeler southwest corner back here and you can see now that file is there inside Trimble Connect. So I'm going to load my 3D pipe layout and then I'm going to select that and I'm going to hit the blue or the green eye to basically see it. It'll load it. Now it does make me, since it's single GPS, walk that eight or ten or to ten yards forward, whatever way I need to go, just walk straight. As soon as that's done, it'll orient everything. As soon as that's done, I can play with the transparency, but also go load those models in. So I'm going to turn off my surface that I have in the background and actually start viewing what we've laid out out here. So that's what the actual surface off the tin, TTM, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I still have all of my layers on. So if I want to just turn the layers off for the design to where I don't see design, now all I have is just my utilities on. And right here, I can turn off uh, sewer, water, gas, and have them all off at this point. But I'm just going to show you with them all on how that looks. So as we walk around, you can see where my water here comes in. You can see the gas line that runs along the back side of the project right there. And then you can start visualizing the storm drain. So here's the boxes and the rims and manholes. So here's my storm drain boxes that come from that parking lot. I'll turn that layer back on the surface just so you can see it. Now I intentionally left the box rims sticking out a little bit just so when I have the surface on, you can kind of see where those are at, but I can turn the transparency down on that or just go turn that surface off. So there that is, if you're kind of confused on what's what, just turn all your layers off and turn on what you want to see. So I'm going to turn on uh, just the storm drain right now. So there is just my storm drain lines, where they go, exactly where they go out here. Kind of helps visualize those runs, where they go. Now you can come in here and just turn on maybe sewer. And there's my sewer manholes and the runs for the actual sewer that'll go into these buildings. And then if I want to just see the water, And there it is with my uh, edge of pavement on, so you can see this curb line that comes around. And it comes and you can see exactly where that box is going to sit, where my water and sewer come out of the building. Anyways, I just wanted to show you the cool features that this has. This is my actual design built in business center and laid out out in the field. You can come out and see where any conflicts are going to be, such as that one right there. That's going to be a major conflict, so someone's going to have to check the elevations on that. That one conflicts just a little bit too. Out here on the project, I can walk around and view where my storm drain and all my utilities are. Those green ones out there are my storm drain. Here's a uh, sewer and gas coming there, water and so water and gas coming into the building. I can actually visualize right where it is. I can go to my layers and I could turn on the design to actually see not the actual surface but the line work because now I can see where my roads and edge of pavements are. So as I get over here to where my pond is, if I turn on the actual design, you'll see the surface. Like I've shown you, if any of you have watched another videos where the surface is, where the new pond is. They change the transparency and you can see the drain boxes down on the bottom. So if I go to my layer and just turn off the actual surface, but leave the line work on, now I can see where the pipe runs are exactly, if there was any question. 
I can see if there's any conflicts with any other designs. But here is where we're draining off of a new road that'll be built right here. Here's my drain boxes, my water line that runs around the outside, and my actual pipeline. About the same thing over here. You can see my utilities that run around the outside of the project there, but I've got one more drain box over here in the corner of a parking lot. So if I turn the surface back on, you'll see my parking lot corner out there. Everything drains from the building down to that back one in the corner, down to this one into this box that's exactly where it's at and i'm standing about where this drain box is going to set in the ground right here right inside the bottom of this pond well hopefully this video helps on uh, using sight vision to be able to load in whatever line work you have models you have and also a 3d dimensional model of all the pipe in the ground to uh, see exactly where they lay out this may be really helpful just for an instant walk around for the guys before they start the project or the owner or any homeowners whatever it may be it's a good visual obviously once things are staked they're staked and they're going in but uh, hopefully this video helped uh, thanks for watching it from site tech inner mountain on site vision 3d pipe work